I'd be somewhere basking on a beach. As Peter Norton is. Living the highlight. I don't think Peter Norton, in fact, they stopped putting him on the cover of the Norton products, haven't they? They have. Uh, but he was the Betty Crocker of technology for a long time. <laughs> The guy you, you, know, you remember, all of you, but you he, remember was, he was the guy in the yeah with a wide tie, and then eventually they because they only had one picture of him right because he's very elusive and eventually they used Photoshop they narrowed the tie because it was so wide it was like this yeah. wide and then they the, got a little wider again in the late 90s. yeah that's right and <laughs> anyway, now they're doing he's an art collector now in Santa Monica doing quite well thank you because he sold his company to Symantec well there you have it <clears throat> but Norton Ghost is Norton one Ghost. of the tools that we use here all the time. We use it on the set, the labs use it. What does it do? It, it allows you to take a, literally a snapshot, an image of a hard drive and store it somewhere else or burn it to disk. And it doesn't care what's on the hard drive. Exactly. It's a bit for bit copy of the hard drive. Exactly. It's almost like uh, instant coffee, where you just take the hard drive and freeze dry it. There's three differences. One, this is the actual stuff, not fake stuff you buy to save time. <laughs> Two, what you're doing is essentially though you are reconstituting your hard drive. Right. It can compress it down. It can take compress space. it. That's right. But what this really is is a backup and restoration tool. Or if let's say you have, you know, uh, an image of a system and you have to install it on 4,500 systems for your company, what you do is you ghost that image, then you can go around with it. It's used. That's it one of the network. reasons it's used heavily in corporations. Now check this out. Anybody who's out there is familiar with Ghost is going to know something's funny here. We're in a window here. We're in Windows XP. Normally you have XP. to do it in DOS. Yeah. Well, look at that. You don't have to do it in DOS the, well, the, Yeah, well, you do have to do it in DOS. One of the big things they say is there's now a Windows interface. But there's, just, there's no DOS in XP, so I guess No, so to what do it better. does yeah. is, is actually, and they, they don't want the operating system running. And in fact, the operating system is going to interfere with a lot of the activities that Ghost wants. It's going to freak out. It's going right. to panic. So what you do is you go in here, you select, and what it does is give you a wizard. So we're going to click on backup, and we're going to go to next, and we're going to go, yeah. okay, we'll go to here. See, a lot of experts going to go, I don't want to do all Exactly. That. Well, the thing is, is if you're an expert, right? Is there a command line interface? You can go back to basically the original interface. Okay. We had Lawson, who, who works in the lab, and backs, he basically uses Ghost six or seven times a day, every day of his life. Right. He loves and hates this program. The only reason he hates it is because he doesn't seem to spend time anywhere else other than benchmarking. He lives in it. <laughs> exactly. We, um, uh, we use Ghost here to keep ghost images of all our mm -hmm. hard drives because we always are installing new stuff. And yeah. It's nice to be able to get a fret, go back to the way it was. And you can do that in a matter of minutes. Very fast. Much faster than restoring so a backup. So the Windows interface, if you, don't like to go into the, if you don't like the DOS interface, if you found the DOS interface intimidating, if you didn't want to deal with it, basically what it does is it walks you through, it does a, it, uh, does a wizard, decides on what you want to do, then it reboots the system system in the DOS right. and takes care of business. It kind of has its own operating system. Now, does it uh, have any new features? Because uh, yeah. I have Norton Ghost 2000. USB, okay, 1.0 nice. and 2.0, and, and FireWire support. So it supports drives that are on USB or FireWire. Exactly, okay. and it's also got CDRW and DVD-R. Now, so, that's nice, because you can span across multiple DVDs right. or multiple CDs. I personally think like FireWire and an external hard drive is the killer backup. If you have 400 mega, you know, if you, if you have 8 gigabytes of MP3, right. You're not going to want to. You, you could burn those off to a couple of DVD R discs, or you could buy a 40 gigabyte hard drive and back off everything. It's a great idea. It's not a yeah. bad idea. Uh, it can burn, like I said, burn directly to CDR, DVD R, and it's got uh, it's got a lot of stuff. It's not the cheapest application. It's about seventy dollars. Mm -hmm. It does not have an automatic scheduler, which doesn't bother me because I don't really think I want Ghost to sort of create a backup, a 40 gigabyte backup image. Right. You know, every, every couple four of days. minutes. Right. So, but it's it's a it's a tool we use constantly. If you have, you know, if you have a current version of Ghost and you're happy with it, I don't see a powerful reason to upgrade. Seventy dollars, nice price. And one, actually, you know what? There is one reason to upgrade if you have a current version of Ghost. Only the enterprise version of Ghost in the past supported NTFS. Ghost 2003 oh, adds NTFS support. Hallelujah. Which means it'll work for your Windows XP NTFS partition. Now, there is a competitor, PowerQuest, the folks who do uh, uh, our favorite partitioning program, mm -hmm. Partition Magic, do Drive Image 2002. How do you compare the two? I'm not going to because I haven't spent enough time using Drive Image. All right, okay. Yeah. Well, I have it here. Maybe I'll take it home and try it for myself. You try it. I've just been such a ghost user for We've de been you know, using almost it for a decade. So long. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this has been the, this has been my power tool for a long time. I used to use Partition Magic all the time. We started using Ghost here. It's interesting because for a long time, Ghost was considered more of an enterprise tool, and it was it was kind of difficult for right. end users to get a copy of it. But once you learned it, yeah, now you learn the command lines, you just type them out. Will you know, the, I, you know, I'd really have to go and. I'm gonna and, try this new one. You're gonna try the new one. Little, it's same price, but uh, we'll give it a shot. And you do, they do have a competitive rebate upgrade coupon for Which thirty dollars. So if you had Ghost, you could get this. Right. A lot less. Ladies and gentlemen, Lawson wrote an outstanding review for you, Roman edited it. And it's up on the screensavers.com. It's going to list all the details and what he found out in his testing. Ghost drive image. Ghost drive image.
We're just getting started to find out how much work your mouse does in an average day. This is a peculiar <laughs> one. And up next, throw away those potato chips. I mean it. We're going to talk to you about building a Wi-Fi antenna out of a Pringles can to save cash. And maybe why you should be thinking about coffee instead. Thanks, I'm running up and running up.